Francesco has already introduced me, and so I'm, I have just to add a few words of introduction. Most of the of the words, or most of the sentences that I'll see this evening, come from my course, the course that uh, I, I teach here in the, at the University of Bologna. A course called titled Farm Economics and Administration. Well, let's start uh, talking about uh, urban farm. Uh, I have to say that uh, the third thing to do, the thing, thing to do is that uh, uh, we have to emphasize the fact that urban farm are economic activities and uh, that the starting an economic activity uh, requires, requires confidence with uh, uh, four uh, general rules. So the, fir the first one, uh, you can see, you can see there the first one, uh, wrong, ex wrong understanding of the reality uh, leads to wrong expectation and to wrong decision too. So when you have to start, uh, you have to analyze correctly the reality. The second one is that uh, economic sustainability has nothing to do with dreams. Uh, forget your dreams, uh, or, or better, remember your dreams, but understand them in a rational way. And uh, economists are not interested in non-marketable dreams, we are interested in plans. The third one, the third rule is that a dream does not come true without a plan. If you want to practice uh, urban agriculture and make it environmentally and societally and economically uh, sustainable, you need a plan. The, the last one, the last rule is that to prepare a plan, to prepare a plan is hard, 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 two more times hard, hard job. It requires time, time uh, from three to six months, knowledge, practice, and passion to learn. Complexity is complex. You, you, you shouldn't think that uh, you can simplify easily what is complex. And um, uh, there, is, there are no shortcuts uh, to make uh, complex tasks easy. Then, just another. Okay, if you dream to start uh, a, an urban agricultural startup, you should imagine a business model. Uh, what is a business model? A business model is a clear, uh, detailed and true. Clear, detailed and true are the fundamental adjectives. Clear, detailed and true representation of the complex reality of your future uh, organization. Business model is useful for forcing. You have, we have to force startups to define how his business will be will be organized. Then who will interact with whom, and then what goals and strategies will be pursued. Then uh, what works uh, the business will perform and how it will perform that work. Then you have to consider processes and technologies, motivation, goals and strategies, organization, rules, external regulation and laws, internal policies and other guidance. With respect to this pattern, we can see that uh, Canvas, uh, maybe you have uh, heard about Canvas basic model. Mm -hmm. Canvas is not a solution, it's, it is just a, a tool to help startups in preparing their effective business model. The challenge of a business canvas model is that uh, the concept should be simple, relevant and intuitive. Usually canvas business models are described through nine blocks, eight blocks, and, uh, but the following canvas uh, uh, business model is a model with uh, two extra blocks uh, that include social and environmental aspects. 
Okay, this is uh, the, the frame of a, um, of a canvas business model. You can see 11 block, uh, 9 ups, and plus 2 business blocks. Just a minute. Okay, key activities is the first block that uh, you should think of. Uh, key activities block describes uh, the strategies, uh, the strategic activities uh, aimed at increasing the performance of your business model. Then you have to think to key resources. What are your key resources? What will be your key resources? Uh, well, uh, key resources uh, uh, capture the, the company uh, strategic assets. The company strategic assets that hold up the business model. Then we can think to okay, key partners. Key partners block defines the network. Every 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 firm is involved in a network, so you have to define the network of suppliers and partners in your business model. Then, fourth, the cost structure, the, the block that, that, that I love. Uh, the cost structure uh, describes all costs, all, I have to emphasize, all economic costs, all economic costs incurred to operate a business model. And then, social and environmental costs. Okay, you have to consider the positioning of your firm, farms, in, within the social and environmental context. When, now, we have a, a very important, uh, maybe, okay, <laughs> a very important block, uh, the so-called value proposition block. What is value proposition? Oh, it's quite difficult to, uh, to explain uh, uh, to students, but generally speaking, we have to say that a farm, a firm, an enterprise, it doesn't matter the sector, but uh, find its uh, raison d'etre, we can say in, in French, uh, it, it's a motivation. It, uh, it, the reason to live producing, creating value. No firm has a significant without creating value. Creating value for who? Creating value, generally speaking, for customers. And so um, the value proposition block identifies the bundle of products and the services that create value for specific segments of customers. And then we, we pass, this is a pivotal uh, block, then we pass to another series of blocks. Okay, customer segments. So customer segment blocks defines the different groups of people, of organization, an enterprise aims to reach and serve. And then, Customer relationship. Customer relationship describes the types uh, of the relationship a, a company establishes with specific customers for with each specific customer segment. And then the channels. Maybe. Okay, the channels. Uh, the channel describe how company communicates with and reach it in its customer segments. Why? To deliver the value proposition. Okay? I use the channel, deliver the value proposition. And then, here, revenue streams. Okay, revenue streams. Revenue streams describes the revenue flows a company obtains selling. What? Products and services to a specific customer segments. And finally, social and environmental benefits. Here we have a social and environmental tools there on the, on the right, social and environmental benefits. Okay? 
But when you have finished to prepare, you have to face another task. Okay? You have to face another task, uh, you have to prepare your business plan. Uh, business plan, generally speaking, is another tool. Here there is a very good definition of business, uh, of a business plan. A business plan is a formal accounting statement. Formal accounting, do you remember? And a statement which uh, numerically describes a set of business goals, the reason why they are believed attainable. You, okay, you have a dream, but to your, you need not to use too, more, too much of fa your fantasy, okay? Uh, why they are believed attainable and the strategic plan and manager of steps for reaching those goals. Hypotheses and visionary ideas have to be transformed, and I think that these uh, <laughs> these few goals are fundamental. Have to be transformed into numbers and need to be backed by reasonable and verifiable assumptions about future events and milestones. Well, there is not uh, there is uh, while for business model there is. Uh, um, a template, a sort of template, the Canvas business model that is uh, broadly used. Uh, here for business plan there, are, there is not one, one major template. There are a lot of uh, templates to prepare a, plan, a business plan. But in every, in every business plan we can uh, find two, uh, two areas, two parts. A descriptive part which contents are quite similar to those we have already found in a canvas business model and a quantitative part aimed to estimate and here estimation evaluation estimate the expected values of the new business. Oh. The quantitative part should consist of uh, Different uh, points, uh, different sub parts, uh, but uh, this is a minimum set of parts uh, that uh, sh should, no, must be, we, can, we must find in a business plan. Well, the investment plan, uh, mainly the source of funding, where can I, where? Do I think to find my money, the money needed for my business, and the capital structure of the business, and then revenue and sales go for a customer. You have to think what that is the physical amount and the monetary amount of sales, uh, of production and sales, obviously. The forecast, and then you have to forecast also the expenses, obviously. And uh, when you have uh, forecasted uh, expenses and, uh, and uh, revenues, you can project uh, your profit and loss and, put, and you can uh, write uh, a projected um, uh, cash flow and a projected balance sheet and business ratios. It is a very hard work, it is a very hard job, and again, I see, as you see, uh, as you saw in the previous uh, slide, and again, I have to emphasize that uh, all data you put in, your, in this uh, part of your business plan should uh, and must be backed by reasonable and verifiable assumptions about future events and milestones. And then you have, now you have finished your business plan, but you need one or two more efforts. Uh, the first one is uh, we can find the, the first one in the last two lines. Uh, okay, if you are considering different level of production and sales. Uh, you are not sure at the beginning about the future level of sales, okay? And so if you consider different levels, 
uh, of production and sales or different prices, uh, if we can perform, you can perform better, uh, a sensitive analysis uh, to realize how the expected values of uh, the business can change. And uh, if uh, we are considering the alternative business model, we should compare them. And then, while the values uh, estimated in the quantitative section of the BPs are directly comparable, we need a tool to, co to compare the business models developed uh, through using covers and or the, the descriptive part of business model, uh, business plans. And uh, to this task, a SWOT analysis could be effective comparing the ports of strengths and weakness of the alternatives and how those can be upsided by opportunities and trades. At, uh, at the end, and I finished, if you need to communicate your business model and plan, don't forget to prepare an executive summary and to provide a pitch deck. Okay? Um.